What is up, YouTube? This is Dandy TCG here, back with another video. And today, guys, I am, as you can see, I'm doing a Digimon deck profile. Um, I've been playing Digimon for about a couple years now, and I'm actually really loving the game. And I figured, you know what? Let's uh, put some of that on the good old YouTube channel. So I figured I would showcase to you guys my uh, Mega, my Mega Digimon deletion deck that i've been running with and i i actually really like the way this deck runs um just the way you can just delete your opponent's the highest the high level digimon high dp digimon with ease because of your inheritable effects so and then the tamers with the memory you can just keep your memory so you don't really ever have to stop your plays with that, without further ado, we'll get into the deck profile. For our Digi Eggs, we were on the one Gurimon and the four Gigimon. Uh, the Gurimon is BT8 and the Gigimon is EX2. I'll try to uh, say what set they're from. That way, you guys can, if you like the deck profile, you can get the ones that you get. Uh, Gigimon is basically. Uh, He's a free draw power when uh, when I, you attack because the main rookies and champions that you run in this deck are all Gilmon and Gramon. So and you know you run Gallimon. And then again, uh, Gurimon again another draw card. So really good effects just for the inheritables. Uh, onto our rookies, our level threes. We run the new. Run three. No, I run four of this. These sleeves stick together, so you might know that. I run four of uh, the Gilmon X antibody from BT9. Uh, this card because he can digivolve on top of a regular Gilmon for free, and you know zero for a regular digivolution cost, and he's got a three thousand DP. And his inheritable effect is you add a thousand to the maximum DP you can choose with DP based deletion effects. So that's what this deck is all about. And uh, when you digivolve, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So, really good uh, starter rookie. Then we run four of the. I think I got Four of the structure deck Gallimon Gilmon. Uh, he's uh, basically just your warp Digimon, and uh, when a Digimon is deleted, you can draw a card. So again, a deletion deck gives you more. He gives you more draw draw power, and he, like I said, he can warp to Gallimon. So, and he's low DP. He's a low evolution cost. Then we run four of EX2 Gilmon. Again, uh, when attacking, his inheritable is really good. If you have Gralmon or Gallimon in its name, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP plus. So again, another deletion effect. Really good to give to your uh, Gallimon or even your Megadramon. And then he can actually... Uh, he also helps with your searching. So when he's played, you can on your turn you can reveal the top four and add one Galmon or Galmon. Part with Galmon or Graumon or Galmon, excuse me, in his name to his hand. So he can actually add Megadramon, since Megadramon always counts as Chaos Galmon. So. And then the last rookie we play just for. Uh, low cost uh, mini Dikachimon from BT9. Uh, again, just high D high rookie DP and low evolution cost and play cost. So if you ever brick and you just pull him out, like you draw him, he's just a low play cost. On to our champions, we run for Graumon X Antibody from BT9. Again. Inheritable effect, you got to uh, add the 1000 to the maximum DP you can choose with DP based deletion effects. So, again, really good for that effect. And 
IDP 6,000 with an evolution cost of 2. Not bad. Then we run two of the structure deck, Draumon. Uh, when the post Digimon is deleted, you gain a memory as an inheritable. So, again, deletion based deck. Gain memory off that if you delete something. Really good. And then we run two Graumon from uh, EX2. Uh, basically, he's another deletion card. He. Uh, when attacking, if you you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 or less DP. But if you have a Tamer on board, which most of the time you will have a Tamer, since we run six of them. Uh, he uh, increases the DP cost to 4,000. But if you Digivolve him on top of Gilmon X Antibody, you get uh, uh, 3,000 or less or 5,000 or less DP. So, pretty good. And then for the last champion, we run the Wanagunimon. So say you have a dead tamer, you can just pop that on top of it. A cost of two, it's not bad. Next, into the ultimates, we run two ground, War Groundmon X Antibody from BT9. He doesn't have any inheritable, but... Uh, his effect states, until the end of your opponent's turn, to their Digimon gain on deletion, lose one memory. Then if War Grandmon or X Antibody is in this Digimon's deletion cards, use any number of your opponent's Digimon, which total DP adds up to 6,000 or less, and delete them. So, if you could pop him on top of your Gilmon X Antibody plus your Grandmon X Antibody, that becomes 8,000 combined. So, pretty good for that deletion effect. Then we run, we run three of the War Groundmon from EX2. Uh, again, he's like the uh, regular Groundmon from EX2, where he can uh, delete an opponent or delete an opponent's Digimon for four thousand DP or less. Or if you have a Tamer, it becomes six thousand. But again, you have X Anybody Gilmon under this, or X Anybody Groundmon. Uh, it goes up to uh, 8,000 DP or less. So, pretty good for a deletion effect. And his inheritable, he adds 1,000 to the DP for uh, DP effects, deletion effects. Then we run uh, two War Groundmon from the structure deck. Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 DP or less. So, he's a good deleter. Uh, low Digivolution calls of three. And. Uh, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, the this Digimon he gains a security attack plus one as an inherit that's his inheritable. Which, you know, you delete a you delete a blocker and swing in. So you could easily get a two security check off of him. And for our last ultimate, we play one rise Greymon. Uh, I only I only choose to play one of these from uh, the structure deck. Based because of his deletion effect, he's got really low DP. He's got low DP for an ultimate, uh, but his play costs are low. So, but his D, his deletion effect being 5,000 DP or less on play, uh, pretty good, but I choose to only play him at one. Now, for the Megas, this is the fun part. We run two of the EX2 Gallantmon. Oh. On our turn, he gets plus 2,000 DP, and while you have a Red Tamer in play, add 2,000 to the maximum DP you could choose with DP-based deletion effects. So, right off the bat, uh, if you play that, if you play your, your cards right, you could get, uh, you could easily get your Mega Dramon up to, I think, like 16, 17,000 DP or less. So, you could immediately throw down that Mega Dramon and delete almost any Digimon that's on the board. So... And then he gets his attacking effect. You can choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to 6,000 or less and delete them. Again, if you play your cards right, that could be higher. At least up to, I think, 9,000. And then we play the uh, Gallimon X Antibody from uh, BT9. 
Uh, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP. If no Digimon is deleted by this effect, unsuspend this Digimon. And that's when he Digivolves. And he costs one to Digivolve on top of a Gallantmon. So, that's good. Uh, his his uh, normal effect is when opponent's Digimon is deleted, if Gallantmon or X antibody is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. So, even without attacking, he can uh, knock off one of your opponent's security. And then we also run the Gallimon Crimson mode. Uh, delete all your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP. And trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. To add When attacking, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Add one to the number of cards trashed by the effect of every 10 cards in your opponent's trash. Now, that's really, that's really broken to me. So... Next, we have just the one Omnimon. Uh, I've thought about taking this out just so I could run another uh, Rise Greymon. But he's. And that's why I'm running into my problems, because Rise Greymon better suits this deck, but also uh, Omnimon, he has Blitz. We like the Blitz. Blitz is really good. So. Then, for our final Mega. The main Digimon of your deck, Mega Dramon. This card is the name of this card is also treated as Chaos Gallimon. So, as I said, the Gilmon from uh, I want to say EX2, I think, is the one I said. Yeah, EX2, he can actually search Mega Dramon on that reveal effect that he has. So, really good. And his base. A fact when he digivolves is uh, you delete when you post Digimon with 10,000 DP or less. So right off the bat, 10,000, you could get rid of almost any uh, champion or ultimate, all that. Get rid of those. But if you play your cards right, that can get up to, uh, I, th I believe, I, like I said, 17,000. So you can almost wipe any of your opponent's big monsters with that effect. And... You may play one, and if he is deleted, you can play one Gilmon and one Takato from your hand or trash without paying the memory cost. So you can just recycle and reset. That is it for all the Digimon we play. Next, on to the Tamers. Like I said, we run a decent amount of Tamers, so you're usually going to always have a Tamer on board. Uh, we run four Takato Mats Matsuki from EX2. Uh, when opponent's Digimon is deleted, you can suspend this tamer to gain one memory. So the deletion-based effect, you can immediately gain a memory back if you delete something. So, and then when one of your Digimon would Digivolve into Digimon with Gallimon or Gramon in its name, that Digimon gains Blitz. We love the Blitz effect. Love it. And for the last tamer we play... Two of the new hero Monokawa from BT8 he is our memory tamer. Uh, so if your memory is two or less, set your memory to three. And if you attack with a Digimon that has Gammon in its name or is level five or higher, you may suspend this tamer to have one of your Digimon get plus two thousand DP for the turn. So if you don't think you might have enough DP to get over a security stack, suspend him and you're good. And each, both of them have the effect to play them uh, for if they're checked by security. And then for our option cards, we run the three red memory boost. Uh, again, just reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one red Digimon card among them to your hand. We play all red Digimon, so that works out perfectly. And you place them bottom at, uh, you place them at the bottom of your deck in any order. And then you just place this card in the battle area. And then on your next turn, you can trash this card to gain two memory. Pretty good, pretty good effect. And if he, this is hit during a security check, you can place it in the battle area. Then we play two Lightning Joust from uh, the Gallimon Structure deck. One of your Digimon gets plus DP for the turn. Then if the number of cards in your security stack is less than or equal to your opponent's, uh, one of your Digimon gains security is attack plus one for the turn. So, gets an, you get 
low cost, you immediately go to give one of your Digimon an extra uh, security attack. And its security effect is you add it to your hand. And our last option card is X Antibody, because we do run the X Antibody cards. This card immediately goes, and if you have, while you have a Digimon in play, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements. This uh, security, gain one memory and add this card to the owner's hand. So this always returns. Like this gets hit in your security stack, boom, add it to your hand and you gain a memory. So you immediately knock your opponent's memory down. And then main, place this card under one of your Digimon without X antibody in his Digivolution cards as its bottom Digivolution card. It's inheritable is. All turns, effects can't trash X antibody in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. So this card always stays in the Digivolution stack. And then when attacking, this Digimon can Digivolve into a Digimon card with X antibody in its traits in your hand for its Digivolution cost. So when you attack, you just immediately plop down another X antibody. So that is it for the video, guys. Uh, if you guys have suggestions of what I can do to add to this this deck, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And again, I'm going to preface this video saying that uh, these are all my personal choices. You can always build whatever way you would like. Uh, this is just how I think I. This is just how I like to run the deck. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys around for some more content.